Welcome to the Introduction to Excel tutorial series. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you some information about how to use Excel and how to get things going. So in this first video, I'd like to show you some very basic commands. And first of all, we're looking at the Excel worksheet, also known as a spreadsheet. And in this spreadsheet, you have little tiny squares, the little rectangles that are there. And those allow you to put information into the worksheet and accomplish things. And so you might see that the one just got highlighted and I'm, I'm gonna move it around a little bit. And you, know, you can see that by moving it around, you can put various pieces of information in each one of these locations. And the locations are the cells of the spreadsheet. Now notice that on the top line and going down the side, there's letters and numbers. These are the things that are used to identify each one of the cells. So where I'm located now is A1, then I go down and it's A2, A3, A4, and I keep, keep going. And then it's B1 over here, C1, D1. You may wonder how far this goes. Well, if you keep going down on the spreadsheet, you can see it goes you know, far down. It actually goes down about 65,000 rows. And it's interesting, it also goes wide. So if it goes to the right here, you can see what's happening that's gonna go through the alphabet. And the question then is what happens when you get to the end of the alphabet? And I'll show you what happens it starts to use double letters. So I can go to Z and then the next one is A, 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 B, A, C, and it keeps going. And there are hundreds of possibilities for columns that you can have there. So you can get a pretty wide spreadsheet. It's something that allows you to uh, have many, many hundreds of thousands or even more uh, cells that are in one spreadsheet. So what can you do with this? Well, the first thing that I think you can do with it is to put just information in there without anything else, just plain old information. So the, the first example I have, I've listed some of the colleges in the San Francisco Bay Area on, on the peninsula. And so you can see what we have. We have uh, several columns of information. We have a heading at the top, uh, and then we just we can move around. If I wanted to put one more in there, I could just do it down here. If I wanted to expand this to the right, I could put uh, additional information in there if I had it. But, it, but there's really nothing um, too complicated about this. It's a pretty simple worksheet, and it allows me to put just basic text information. Well, you may be wondering, can you put in more than just text? Can you put in other types of things? And Sure, you can put in numbers. So I have an example of that. So on the first column, we have just the text that's there. But in the second column, we have some numbers that we put in. And so those numbers actually can be manipulated uh, with using some arithmetic arithmetic formulas, and we'll show you uh, how that works in a couple of minutes. So um, basic type of things, you can have text and numbers. So let me show you another example, and this should make some sense. Here I have in column A some text. So I just have income, expenses, profit. Uh, this might be something for a business or personal finance where you say, here's how much money comes in, here's how much money goes out, and here's what's left over. So I've got the money coming in, and the expenses going out, and the profit is what's left over. This is probably for a business, just the way that it's stated. And so here, this makes sense too. We've got a couple of numbers, 20,000, 15,000, and what's level left over is the difference between the two of them, so 5,000. And there's nothing too complicated about that, except where we are right now in cell B3, I had the computer figure that out rather than me figuring that out and typing in in here. And that's what Excel is great at, is figuring out stuff like that. So what would happen in, if I put in, instead of 20,000, if I put in 50,000? Watch what happens. I put in 50,000, I hit the Enter key, and Excel calculates the new answer. So clearly something's going on here that we haven't had so far. There's some kind of arithmetic that's going on in B3. Let's, let's take a look and see if the expenses are 5,000, and we'll just confirm what's going on. So it recalculates the answer, and, and so that would be great. There's something that we could really use uh, very, very much using Excel uh, throughout. So let me show you what's there. It's a formula, and the formula involves some very basic arithmetic. Here's how to w look at formulas in Excel. At the very top part, I've got the list of options and so I use formulas and it's got a lot of stuff in there. I come over here where it says show formulas and I click on that and there we go. It's now showing me exactly what's happening in the spreadsheet. So in cell B1 I still have the dollar amount, so 50,000 in this case, and then in B2 I have the 5,000 amount. But look what happens in B3. Instead of having a number there, as I said, I have a formula there. And so now 
I'm looking at the formula in Excel. All Excel formulas start with an equal sign symbol. That's every formula you'll see, and you'll see a few more in, in the future tutorials. So this formula starts with an equal sign, and then it says, take whatever's in cell B1 and subtract whatever's in cell B2 and come up with the answer and put it right where the formula is, and in this case, it happens to be B3. So I can turn the formulas off, and then I'm back to my original example. So if I have 100,000 in income, 100,000, and if I have 80,000 in expenses, you saw it recalculated that, so here we go, and then it just calculates it again. So I can rely on the fact that I have that formula there to do the, the work for me, to do the arithmetic, and then I can uh, look at future formulas. And that's what we're going to do in the next few tutorials is look at the other ways you can put formulas in there. So I'll stop for now. Uh, this tutorial will be over, and then just look for future tutorials in the Introduction to Excel series. Thanks. Thank you.